It's a season of picking leaders in the polity and the creative communities in left south, but leadership cannot function properly without getting the followership right. That's what's happening at the Artist Hostel within the National Theatre as the National Troupe ups their numbers. Then a female contemporary artist shows us Hidden Essence, an exhibition of her ingenious creations. Interesting lineup we have for you, and I'll tell you more when Art House returns in a moment. Do stay with us. Our wordsmith for this week is titled The Sailors by Ahmad Obieto. He never told her, and so she never knew, even though his love could light up the moon. She never showed him, because there was nothing to show, except her beauty, so pure, she glowed. To not have her was pain, a pain so deep, like a dagger to the heart, he could only bleed. He pressed and expressed, but to no avail, no matter how hard he tried, it seemed more certain that her ship had sailed. She longed for another who longed for another. He and her in the same boat but could not be together. And so is the tale of the beloved and the lover. A lover is beloved and the beloved a lover. Dearly beloved, if you find a lover to whom you can return the favor, then dock your ship for you're a lucky sailor. A really profound compilation there. Many thanks, Ahmad, for sharing that with us. The grand finale of the Creative Selection Exercise attracts the best performers from across the country, all anxious to find a place within the National Troupe of Nigeria. Flexibility, versatility, Stage presence, energy level, and stamina. Those were some of the criteria the judges were looking for during the screening exercise to pick new members that will join the national troupe. What do you have passion for apart from music, dancing, and all? Are you sure? Continuity uh, of our desire to build a national troop uh, that can stand the test of time. A uh, national troop that has all the repertoire of uh, dancers and musicians and uh, people who can be able to also perform as uh, dramatists uh, to showcase the best of our performing arts here in Nigeria and also the country. My Nigeria, you who profile solutions to the world and other African countries at large, my Nigeria. Oh yes, today I have come to pay you homage, my Nigeria. Okay, okay. 27 states are part of this audition. Although word was sent out to performing artists across the country in a process that began in February. All right, please play our video. come from the different part of uh, the southern part of the states and uh, in the southern part of Nigeria you know uh, we are also taking the best out of them uh, you can be able to see that uh, we have a lot of uh, judges that came from federal Commission uh, some from high institutions of Nigeria 
and uh, from our mother ministry, Ministry of Information and Culture, and then from the Office of the Head of Service. Uh, they're all here uh, to see that equity uh, is done. Uh, because uh, we have to also look at uh, ensuring that uh, uh, every section of uh, this country uh, is also part of uh, uh, this engagement. is that you must be good in all areas of theater dance music drama and acting so once you are good in all these areas that we must take you if you see most of our all our directors we have director for dance we have director for drama and we have director for music and we now call specialists who are so good like uh, Steve James everybody knows him in area of uh, dance and we have a specialized ministry and departments that we call also just to have good selection so that's the reason that those are our reason and our parameters in choosing these artists From thespians in and out of the Art Council to freelancers, the floor was open for everyone to show what they can bring to the table. We are speaking excellent dancers, musicians and dramatists this time around. That's why we send in the invitation out, we advertise and we send letters to 36 states of the Federation that we need the best artists. And when they came now, we put them on stage. We want to see what they can offer. And I think by the time we do the selection, we will even be proud of them. Because now that's the first phase. We are going to do another intensive course in which we are going to train them. And we are going to call specialists from even academia, from our profession. We will call them to come and train them for at least for the next two weeks. So it is after that time, we now introduce them formally to our dances, our acting, and everything in the National Troop of Nigeria. So far, so good. I'm very impressed with the quality of um, applicants. And that, that was because we had a screening process before this process. So you must pass the screening process for you to be able to come here for the audition. And so far, with what we have done in Abuja and what we have done here, I'm, I'm very, very uh, impressed and I'm very sure that at the end of the day, we'll have only the best for the National Trip of Nigeria, which is actually what we set out to do, I mean, to get the best that we represent us both in national and international productions, in both in dance, in music and drama. A lot of talented youths you know this is really like a home of culture a home of beautiful diversity of this country you have young people showing so much talent you know from dancing multi 
talented youths. And um, what we are doing here is to make sure there is some form of fairness and transparency that the best man, the best woman gets the job. But um, it's going to be tough because they are really talented, a lot of them. The grand finale of selection process in Lagos is coming after the first set of audition in the nation's capital, Abuja. As an artist, as a dancer, you have to be versatile. You have to learn the dances in, in Nigeria in particularly. You have to know them and the beats. So for you to do that, you need to know what the drum is saying because it is the drum that is controlling the dancer and the dance. I just um, finished drumming. Uh, I danced also. I danced the Igbo dance. I danced the crossover dance, which is a, um, a combi. And I danced uh, Bata and Nyegbe also. So they just combined the dance. If I happen to be among those selected, first of all, I'll be extremely excited because this has always been my dream. The outcome of this exercise will build a formidable team of performers for the national troupe in order to carry out its mandate. Loving the variety of performances put up by each of the thespians. So much energy, just like the images sent in every time. And these are the works of art you sent in this week. We begin with music and art done by a 17-year-old. He calls himself Lamdi with this poster color on cardboard paperwork. He says, in my heart, I see beauty and in my ears, I see melody. Then Ademola Ajayi has rural splendor rendered with mixed media. Visibility is a digital art done by Jeffrey Daniels. Then In My Comfort from the Women and Flower series is an acrylic on canvas piece done by Desmond Akindoju. And this pen on paperwork is called My Light, still from an ongoing series. Mark Duke says, the good days are coming. Then color does not tell what's inside. The greatest person is the one who shows love. That's according to James Prince and he titles this work, Love a blue biro and charcoal on paper piece. Then Paul John has this animal on board work, which he calls silence. Blessing Spurucci has this work called Civilization done with oil on canvas. Then we wrap things up with this work done by Archie Abia Godwin. It's a graving oil painting on canvas called Strength of a Woman. And that concludes the works of art you sent in this week. We appreciate you for always sending them in and encourage you to put your best foot forward, always. Let's take a moment now. Art House returns in a moment. Stay with us.
To be creative means to be in love with life enough that you want to enhance its beauty. Hidden Essence is a salon of paintings, mixed media and wood panel works done by female artist Chinze Ojobo at her studio in Lagos. It's a one-day exhibition of paintings, installations, and mixed-media works of art done by contemporary artist Chinze Ojobo at her studio in Lagos, which reveals true identity, aptly titled Hidden Essence. About, you know, it's a group of work I did over a period of how many years? Uh, from 2014 to 2022. And um, it talks about different life activities, different life lessons, and all that. A tour around her studio shows the depth of her experience as this artist keeps reinventing herself, exploring new methods and using fresh materials regardless of the media. Quite a lot number of women are female artists actually along the line, you know, drop off, you know. But she has kept going. Uh, she's been um, she's been exhibiting professionally since 1992. Uh, that's about 30 years now. So you can say that for the past 30 years, Shinze has been has been exhibiting her works. Um, in fact, the very first art exhibition to hold in Hilton, Abuja in 1998 was her. I was also the first to organize all women art exhibition in Abuja in 1998 called Women in Art uh, that held at International Conference Center. So she's come a long way actually. And, um, and she can always get better and better. Uh, she's done a number of exhibitions internationally. I love the, um, the fabric she's used, I mean the material I should say she's used, it's diff different and I, I, I found out that she actually doesn't waste, it, it's, it's things we term as rubbish, she turns into something valuable, she puts it in her work, she explained this in detail to me, for instance I mean she was explaining to me that some of her children's old excite books and you know rather than throw them away she, she uses them which I thought was you know extremely original, very different. Um, she explained, for instance, now envelopes that she had, old envelopes. She put them together to make something brilliant downstairs. So, yeah, I mean, when you see that kind of artist, you know, you know, using the materials she has at her disposal to create excellent works, as we see here, what can you say? But just you have to take your hat off and say, wow, well done to her, and congratulations.
but her passion for social advocacy through art remains unchanged. As this graduate of fine and applied arts from University of Nigeria in Suka in Enugu State is renowned for using her images to preach against social ills, especially as it affects the girl child. She's uh, come a long way in terms of uh, uh, you know, expressing herself through art. She's actually an activist, art activist. She uses art to address a number of societal ills and issues, uh, especially as it pertains to the girl child. Uh, she's, um, she's, uh, she's, done, she's done quite well. She's exhibited in quite a number of places. And uh, we have quite a number of people who have collected her works around the world. This female artist, who stands tall amongst her peers, is exhibiting works which capture her true essence, taking the viewers down memory lane with images that date back to 2014. Make no mistake about it, this is just a slice considering her over 30 year studio practice. Next week, it gets even better as we enjoy a double delight. Still to come on Art House. We'll be having double delight on the next episode from an exhibition of two generations, Shegun and Benga Deku, at Terra Culture, Lagos. To Me and Him by Badru and Toromade, another two man exhibition at the Art Pantheon Gallery. We encourage you to keep liking, sharing, and viewing our page so more people can enjoy the ever bubbly and ingenious art scene in the country. Your art house experience doesn't have to end when the show is not on television. Interact with us on our various social media platforms. See any edition of Art House on our website or YouTube page. Join our very interactive Facebook page by joining the group on Art House on Channels. We're everywhere. That's Art House this week. Thank you so much for spending time with us. Looking forward to interacting with you online. I get a lot of questions regarding our works of art. Just ensure you follow the format by putting your name, title of the piece, and the medium. For the writers on our wordsmith, you're doing just fine. Just try to keep it colorful and concise. I'm Melinda Akinlami. I'll see you next time. <music>